Hi there, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to episode 5 of our Manchester United beta save. And since last episode, where well, we was a bit disappointing, wasn't it? We had the draw in Europe and the draw in the uh, Manchester derby as well. But things have picked up nicely, as you can see. We started off with a 4-0 win away to Crystal Palace. We absolutely dominated this game, though. All our goals did come from set pieces, as two from Lindelof and one would Rojo would suggest. Uh, there was the own goal in there as well. It was a deflected, I think, Pogba shot um, that went into the net. Then the marquee result of the uh, of the the time in between episodes for sure, 4-0 at home to Arsenal, Lingard with a goal, a nice early goal, Romelu Lukaku with two, and of course Pogba with a penalty, um, we destroyed them, guys, absolutely smashed them, it should have been eight, I mean, no word of a lie, we absolutely destroyed them, then we played Valencia in the Champions League, 2-0, two, two Fred goals, now Pogba went off with a knock in this game, you can see there, he got uh, just the orange thing, nothing too serious, but Fred came on, absolutely changed the game, um, was absolutely amazing, dominated, and then to do us even uh, a little favour, Lokomotiv Moscow went and beat Inter Milan, which put us right back in contention for the top of that group, and we'll get more to that in a second here. Then we played Southampton, 2-1 as you can see, uh, Lingard and Fred again with the goals, we made some changes in this game, it was a heavy fixture uh, schedule there, so you can see uh, Delo, I think that was one of his first starts in the league, um, Young played for Laney, Pereira made his first start of the season as well, um, so we rode our luck a little bit in this game, I'm not going to lie, but we made changes, got away with it, got a good away win, uh, and that was happy days. Then we played Watford 3-0, one Mata with two, Lukaku with the third, uh, we were just too good in this game. Uh, again, just played them off the park. I have made a small change in our tactics, which I'll get to in just a second, and if we look at how the league tables are stacking up, look at this, Manchester City, have, they've drawn four, in the game we drew, but four other games they've drawn, um, they played Chelsea and Arsenal as well, who we've smashed them both. So they've suddenly dropped off the pace with five points clear on top, guys, which is looking very, very nice. And then in the uh, Champions League, that Lokomotiv Moscow win against Inter really put us back into contention there, but so are they. Uh, we beat them easily first time around, but we've just got to be a little bit careful here because we're playing them away from home, uh, which is where they beat Inter, and then we're going to go to Burnley as well. Um, after that, this episode. So let's not waste any more time. Of course, for all the goals in between episodes there, at the end of this month, uh, end of this month, end of this episode, after the Burnley game, goals of the month. So make sure you stick around for that. This is the team we're sending out uh, in the Champions League. It's De Gea in goal, Rojo up and Lindelof across the back, Valencia down the right, Shaw down the left, Matic and Pogba in midfield, Mata in behind, L uh, Lukaku and Rashford. I've had a word with him. You can see his average rating here. He's been absolutely horrible. He doesn't really want to admit that he's been horrible, um, but we're going to give him a chance here anyway. All right, so we can see they're going to two holding midfielders in there. They're really, really packing the center of the defense there, aren't they? Which means we're probably going to have to play wide, and we're probably going to have to um, exploit the flanks a little bit as well. Um, so what do we tell them here? It's a great opportunity to thank the plaudits for backing you up. You've been on a great, we've been praising you lately, but don't let that put pressure on your performance. I think I like that. Um, then we'll go with some passionate, we have faith. Here we go, this could be working now. Now, what I might think we might do with Rashford here, because he, has, he hasn't been playing well. Maybe a calm, there's no pressure on you. We just need to get a... I think if he gets a goal, he'll probably, you know, get going, but he's just been, hasn't got going yet, has he? Um, all right, let's go and get three points here. Here we go, the UEFA Champions League anthem ringing out around the locomotive Moscow Stadium in Moscow, I'm assuming. Um, Alright, let's see what we can do here. You do kind of expect to win this, don't you, having beaten them, was it 4-0 at home, but they beat Inter here, so they're obviously a good team, and Russian teams do tend to be hard to beat there, don't they, and I'm wondering if maybe this version of FM has kind of picked up on that and made that a little bit more the case. See what happens with this highlight. Headed down, no, we couldn't win that. Bit disappointing there, up. You should have been up there challenging. Can we get to that? Oh, good pressure, but we just can't get sort of the crucial touch in to win possession back, can we? Luke Shaw is kind of on two men there. Now that means somebody's not marking their fullback. Luke Shaw has really dove in there, hasn't he? Too much time on the ball. They've worked that well. Something wasn't right in that uh, that build-up play there. I suspect either I haven't set these marking up properly, uh, he's marking the right back, or it looks as though Rashford wasn't actually marking his man. Um, left, and Rashford was right, wasn't he? Uh, yes. So yes, someone is not marking their man as they should. 
maybe I think it might be Rashford with a case of the big time Charlies. All right, let's get creative. Let's see from a set piece, we have been scoring some goals from set pieces lately. It's like Kaku just over the bar. Oh, it's a little bit unlucky. Um. Yeah, so what I've told him to do is exploit the flanks and we're playing with extreme width as opposed to just our regular amount of width. There's no need to be nervous yet, boys. We haven't done anything. Show some passion. Hopefully that'll override nerves. Now, Inter's taken the lead against Valencia, so that puts a little bit more pressure on us here. Rashford! Oh, he's so unlucky. So unlucky. That was almost that goal that he needs. I think he may have got one goal at some point. Um, can we see from here without having to go look anywhere else no I can't remember I might have even might have been pre-season I th do vaguely remember him picking up a goal Shaw's done well to intercept that can he play in Lukaku here look at that space no he's gone for Pogba he's kept the ball that's okay look at the space for Valencia as well can he get a nice cross in here Lukaku and Rashford are lurking Lukaku headed away still there for Valencia still there still there hits it out for Mata Mata with his left foot it's off the post it's just not going in for us, is it? Lukaku's had it just over the bar. Matter off the post. We're getting closer, though. Can we do something from this corner? Look at the space. Lukaku's in here. Corner comes in. Oh, he's had it away. Just couldn't quite find him. We ran into the markers there instead of just sort of pulling out and uh, staying in the space. Let's see what Smolov can do. I do enjoy that name. Come on, let's get there. Let's get this block in. Oof, it's a lungy tackle, but did the job to an extent. Farfan, he's looked dangerous, hasn't he? Cross comes in again. Should be easy for De Gea, and it is. Well claimed, sir. All right. Still looking nervous, Pogba. I don't quite understand this. Demand more. Well, it shows some passion. Some more people fired up. Matt is playing well, and he's pretty much the only one, isn't he? We've had more of the ball. We've, we're dominating the game. We just can't put it in the back of the net. All right, it's a throw-in. Can we do it from here? Valencia into Pogba. Can he get a flick on? No, he's just... Hasn't really done anything there. Valencia, Lukaku! Oh, it's off the post again! Rashford can't turn it in either. Oh, is it going to be one of those games where it just doesn't go in for us? All right, up. Up to Valencia. That's a nice pass. I was going to say too, wasn't I, about the tactics, the changing tactics. I've kind of ditched the tiki tacker because um, it's an extreme version of controlled possession and then we're just playing controlled, controlled possession now. Um, and you've seen, I mean, we're creating a lot more chances doing that. Generally speaking, we've been pretty good defensively as well. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely improved. So I think Tiki Taka just, you might need to have Barcelona-esque, you know, passing movement, uh, you know, uh, or technical ability. All those things must might need to be really, really high to play Tiki Taka. Um, whereas we are definitely able to play controlled possession. Um, let's go with a, a, cert, a passionate, get back out there and grab the goal that wins it for us. I like that. Um, players don't, but that's okay. I enjoyed that. <laughs> but wait, wait there, guys. What we'll do is we'll do some individual team talks here. Fire the boys up and get back out there. All right, here we go. Just need to put one of these chances away. You, you've yet the feeling, yeah, if we score one, that the, the floodgates might open. But as things stand right now, why is Lukaku apprehensive? I just told you you weren't playing well. I don't understand why that makes you apprehensive. Um, all right, let's demand more, perhaps. There we go. Let's focus the team. Uh, if we look at changes, I mean, wonder if it's one for Fred to come in, dominate like he did uh, against Valencia. Let's see, Lukaku back to Pogba. Come on, come on. He's jumped into over tackle there, Valencia. Can he get a nice ball in? We've got players lurking. He's offside, isn't he? No, behind the ball, maybe. Pogba, Pogba! Just opened up. Just couldn't get the bend to come back in on it there, could he? Um, now Rashford's picked up a booking. All right. I think I've lost patience with Rashford. We'll bring on Sanchez for him. They can play similar roles, so that shouldn't be a problem. Anything else we want to do here? Who's that? Luke Shaw's having an absolute shocker. Um, there's a part of me here that thinks, are we playing the right formation? Do we need to look to switch to play with uh, two wide players? Uh, and Lukaku up top. Let's get creative inspired them um i mean part of me also thinks you know there's no need to really change anything because we are dominating the game we just can't score a goal right now um so let's take pause there i'm thinking i'm wondering if we take matter off for fred have an extra man in midfield 
play Pogba as a Mazzala, let him drift into wide space, let Freji take control of the midfield in a uh, playmaking sense, and see what this does. Like I say, Fred came off the bench and he was absolutely devastating against Valencia. So if we can get something similar from that uh, from him in this game, uh, we'll be doing well. Let's give it a demand more. Is a draw a bad result? I mean, with Inter winning, it almost sort of gets rid of any chance we had of winning the group, doesn't it? But let's go attacking. We we should have won this game. We should be well and truly clear, but we just haven't been able to take our chances. Is there going to be one more chance in this game? No, that's it. Well, yeah, Rashford will really should have contributed more. Um, suggestions on what we do with Rashford at this point, because he's just not playing well. Let's go aggressive. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to say. Uh, <laughs> we'll just appreciate their efforts then. Aggressive, I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say! Um, yeah. So there we go. Fail to make chances pay. Uh, Rashford vows to end goal drought. Has he scored a goal yet for us? No. He got one in... He got one for England. He scored for England. Has not scored for us yet. You could argue he hasn't had many chances either, but he just hasn't been good. Uh, but guys, wait right there. We'll be back for Burnley and hopefully some goals. Okay, guys. Welcome back. We're about to play Burnley. If we have a look at the fixtures already this weekend, Liverpool have done us a favour. They've beaten Manchester City, which is, means we can go six... What are we already? Five? Eight points clear, depending on what Chelsea do. Um... So that's quite nice. Eight points clear of Manchester City. We'll take that. Is it eight points or is it nine points? It's a lot of points anyway. Um, but of course, we need to get the job done against Burnley first. Now, we're away from home, which makes it a little bit more tricky. But this is the team we're going with. It's essentially the same lineup, just one or two changes. So De Gea in go. Rojo. Lindelof goes back to the middle of defence to allow Eric Bailey to come in. Valencia down the right, Shaw down the left. Herrera comes in to play midfield with Matic. Pogba, we're going to try him in behind. Lukaku, we're going to give Rashford one more chance. I know he can score. Um, I'm hoping with Pogba in behind, maybe there'll be a few more chances created there. So Burnley, as we might expect, looking very, very defensive. Um, it's going to be one, it could be like the last game of the Locomotive Moscow game, where if we get a goal, um, then it could, you know, it, it could open up the game for us. Now do it for the fans, says Gary Neville. The fans are performance they're expecting. Some passion that we have faith. Looks like it's getting a little bit of a response from the team. That's what we'd like to see. And uh, yeah, let's hope we get some goals this time. All right, off to Turf Moor we go. Um, yeah, the fact City have lost takes a little bit of pressure off, off the result, but I mean, we need to make sure we're getting back onto goal scoring winning form, don't we? Because it's, we created so many chances against Moscow, didn't we? Let me know what you think in the comments. But I, even upon reflecting, I think that we created enough chances to win three games. We just couldn't put it in the back of the net. Um, now, whether some of that is Rashford missing chances, I didn't feel like he. I don't think he was in the game really that much at all. I think it was Lukaku that had a few. Mata, Pogba had chances that could have hit or just went past the posts. It was just one of those games, wasn't it? And they put one over the top here. We get caught out. Oh, tell you what. Concentrate, boys. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. Um, they're looking overwhelmed now by whatever Daesh has said to them. Uh, interesting to see Tom Heaton's in goal, not, uh, not Joe Hart. Uh, all right, Rojo's got that headed away, but not to anybody in particular. Not good enough, Rojo. Not good enough. Now, they've had a lot more of this ball. I haven't really seen us with the ball at our feet yet, which is a bit worrying. Can we go and win this back here? Doesn't look like it. They're sort of passing it around with quite a bit of confidence. Yeah, this is a little bit worrying. Should, we've got men back, so we, it should be a matter of just picking off the loose pass when it comes, but we're not seeing any signs of a loose pass right now, are we? Rashford sticking to his task nicely there, looking sure, going and we nip that. No, he can't. There we go. There's the loose pass. Well done, boys. We've defended that really, really well. I'm really happy with that. Now, Rashford, what can you look at Shaw? He's found him. We've got Lukaku in the middle. Shaw to Lukaku is a very, very productive line, isn't it? Can we get the cross in? He can, it's there for Lukaku, who's off the bar again, and it's there on the rebound for Romelu Lukaku. That's what we needed, there we go, 11th goal of the season already for Big Rom, and there we go. Luke Shaw to Lukaku, it is probably our most productive outlet, I think. Um, Rashford, he's done well there, hasn't he? He's sort of kept the ball, found the man in space, got himself in the box as well. Again, off the bar, off the crossbar this time, but... 
So, okay, we got the tap in. Maybe things are going to go a little bit better for us this time around. Uh, let's tell them to get creative now. Still, match ratings aren't fantastic. We are we're not having that much of the ball either. We're not even playing that much better. We've just taken a chance. Uh, now, we need to defend this set piece. This is probably where Burnley's the biggest threat. Oh, what have we done? Just giving goals away for fun, aren't we? Let's give it a show some passion, maybe. Maybe that's what we need to do. Just unforgivable to be conceding goals like this. We have men there. Or do we? I mean, they just weren't marking properly, were they? Did they have more men forward than we had back, perhaps? Um, yeah. But not, again, not... We can't really complain. We, it's an even game, so... And that in itself was a little bit troubling, isn't it? We were doing so well, so well between episodes, and we've come back and it's just the same old trash again, isn't it? Am I Mourinho in disguise? Yeah, we're looking nervous. Um, all right, so we're going to go... We're going to we're going to sort of launch a rocket here. Aggressive, I'm far from pleased. Um, who's this? Valencia, we'll tell him there's more to come. Uh, we'll just get straight back out there. No point changing anything at this point, I don't think. Um, we do have, I do have Lingard on the bench this time, so we can sort of change to use wingers more if we need to. Um, so that's important, I think. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if there is just a bit of complacency there, or if uh, if there's actually something going wrong with with the team here. That's a nice ball for Valencia. Now, look at the space you've got. Drive into that and get across him. We've got men in the box. It's there for Lukaku. Headed out for Rashford. He's finally put the ball in the back of the net. Marcus Rashford. That is a long time coming. But finally, he gets his first goal of the season. From a Lukaku knockdown. And Rashford powers at home with the left foot too, I think. Let's have another look at this. Valencia had so much space. He went into it. Got the cross in. And Lukaku just knocked it back. And look at that. On the volley from Marcus Rashford. That's what we like to see. Good stuff. We're back in front. Now let's let's tell them let's tell them to show some passion. Now we've got someone looking very tired here. It's Valencia. No sign of a knock. So he may have just got a kick in the shin or something. It looks like he's coming back up. Uh, Luke Shaw. No, it's Valencia. It's looking nervous. Um, well, okay, what have we got here? Valencia's exhausted. We do have Delo on the bench, so we might look at making that sub. They do get through a lot of work, the wingbacks, don't they? There's a ball! There's a ball for Herrera! How's he missed that? Oh, Herrera! That's a howler. Um, okay. Let's do this Delo for Valencia sub. Luke Shaw is looking tired as well. Um, we don't really have a second fullback. We can play. We can put Rojo out there if we have to. Let's not make two subs just now yet, though. Let's just get uh, the one done. Um, Herrera was looking nervous. He should be looking nervous after that miss. That was horrible. Uh, let's give it a, a demand more here. Uh, Luke Shaw with the corner. It's not a good one. It's a horrible one, actually. Herrera. He's found his target that time. Luke Shaw, can he get across in the centre backs? Up. It's there for Pogba. He's off the post again. How many times can you hit the woodwork in an episode? That is unbelievable. Um, Alright, so let's... Let's freshen up the legs out wide. It will bring up on for Luke Shaw. Switch those guys around. Rojo, he's capable out there. That's fine. Um, up has been a little bit hit and miss lately, but he's only young. He's a wonder kid. and you know, He's a good player, so we don't have to worry about it too much, I don't think. Uh, Matic is also looking tired. Do we bring on Fred for him? The problem with that is a little bit more of an attacking move, isn't it? 2-1 uh, up coming into the end of the game here. Let's go cautious, which is actually on the counter-attack. Let's do that. And just try and not get caught out ourselves on the counter-attack here. They've got men pouring forward. Oh my gosh. Come on, let's get Brady here. Let's cut that down. It's a horrible cross. Do that all day, Brady. That is fine. Um, might just pause that here. We just want to make sure we see this out, don't we? So let's... Um, what do we want to do here? We want to slow down the tempo. We want to start time wasting a little bit. Um, in transition, we might just hold our shape. We will still counter press. And out of possession. 
Um, I'm happy with that. So yeah, just try and see this out. Now we might make a time wasting sub. Uh, we'll oh, good tackle Pogba. We might go with. What's Rojo going to do here? Oh, God, Rojo. Oh, what's he doing? Okay, that's nicely played out of the back, boys. Oh, Lindelof. No. Oh. Concentrate. Concentrate, boys. Concentrate, concentrate. Uh, six minutes, so we've got a little bit of time here. Let's make this time-wasting sub. That's probably not even going to get a chance really now to happen, but we'll do it anyway. Fred for Matic. Fred, fresh legs in midfield doing the hard work. We're a minute over. This is surely the end. Blow it up, ref. Blow it up. 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 That's full time. Is that? Surely it's full time. Come on, ref. Can we get a tackle in there? Come on, boys. Flags up. And that should be it. Full time. Well, not our most convincing performance. Again, we've played well. We've created chances. We've dominated the ball. Just a little nervy. Couldn't quite get the result in, could we? Uh, we're going to say it's a bit of a let-off, because I think it is, and uh, we'll move on. So, I mean, the positives from that, we've extended our lead up top. We're, what, that's at eight points ahead of Manchester City now, which is good. Even further ahead of Liverpool. And Rashford's got his goal. Uh, and I think that's important as well. There we go. Ends his goal drought. Um, but, yeah, not the most uh, flowing of episodes, was it? But we... I don't think we played badly, but again, let me know what you think in the comments. But I don't think we played too badly. We just couldn't find the net. But that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back tomorrow. Um, we'll do Inter in the group. Now, the unfortunate thing of the way fixtures have the results have gone here, we can't top the group now. But we do need to win this game um, to make sure we go through in second place. Oh, if we were to go in the Europa League, I would be Mourinho, wouldn't I? Um, so that's going to be huge. It's at home. We should be able to do that, shouldn't we? And then we'll go Everton in the league as well. They're seventh. They had a really good start to the season, if you remember, but they've dropped off just a little bit. Um, but any time a Manx team can beat the Scousers is a good day, isn't it? So we'll do that as well. That's all for tomorrow, guys. As for now, if you have enjoyed that, do make sure you hit like. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe. This little AV thing there, I think it is. Everything's back to the front. Uh, it's over there. So make sure you hit that. Hit the little bell notification as well so you see when I upload the videos. But until uh, tomorrow, I've been Aussie Villain. Thank you so much for watching, and here are some of our best goals from November. Take care.